everybody, it's Miss K, and welcome to Miss K Gone Postal. Happy Good Friday, y'all. I'm in a good motherfucking mood. It's a beautiful motherfucking day. Even though I'm at the slave ship, if you guys are working today, hey, have a good, I'm not going to say, you know, it's Good Friday, so I'm not, I'm not going to do it. So just, we're going to have a good, good Friday. We'll save the, for next week. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys had a great motherfucking week. Yeah, because it is Good Friday. So, I fucked up, y'all. Miss K fucked up. And I'm going to tell you how I fucked up. There was some information that I should have gave you guys, and I didn't. And I fucked up. So, I'm going to give this PSA, this information, because I want you guys to have it. Now, I don't know if this is going to be at your particular plant um, or facility. If you've seen these, if you heard about it, it's about to close. So I want to go ahead and give you guys this information. So if you're interested in it, get on the ball and do it because you got like two more days. So look, let me put on my readers, y'all, so I can read this for y'all. So if you are at a plant or facility, the maintenance craft <clears throat> is having a big opening. They have a lot of positions that need to be filled. And... Before they go to, um, if they're filled from outside, they get, like to give the inside people a chance to, um, to bid on it. Now, if you've seen this around, right, it should be something like this, right? And this is a MSS M-Service announcement. And MSS is Maintenance Selection System. So this is here. And look for it. It should be uh, posted maybe on your, your main hallway it should be on the board. It will not be on the maintenance board. It might, but it may not be. This is for all crafts. This is an opening for every anybody who wants to try to register to take the test. And you're already working. So it says, to all in-service employees, right, from maintenance selection systems, authorization has been given to establish an in-service register for the following positions for all career postal service employees, only within the predetermined area of consideration, installations, districts, etc. Right. So, <clears throat> this in-service register will be used to fill any vacancies not filled by in-craft procedures, meaning their in-craft bidding. All um all interested um can apply. In-service career employees within the area of consideration are invited to apply for this position. Now, it opened the beginning of March, and I forgot to tell you guys. I found out about it second week of March, and been talking about all, all other shit, and then tell y'all about this. So, the closing date for this is actually Easter, but you know you probably could probably do it beforehand. Now, this is for your particular facility. So, if this is up in your area, they will have the contact person. Um, for the employee maintenance position and there should be next to this particular form there should be another a group of um, paperwork which is the selection sheet right so you have to fill it out put your information your EIN what your position is right now and then you check off what you want to apply for so now the positions available this is at my location my slave ship at your slave ship I don't know what they may have but these are some of the positions that you may see electronic technician that's a PS10. That's level 10. Mail processing equipment mechanic. That's a PS9. Um, building equipment uh, mechanic. PS9. Maintenance mechanic. PS7. Maintenance support clerk. PS7. Non MS position. A maintenance support clerk is someone who works um, um, in the office um, and they usually deal with paperwork or parts or whatever of that nature. And so, and they also have. On that form, if you guys are interested, <clears throat> they also have custodian. So at my particular slave ship, these are the positions open in custodian, right? So you have to fill it out. What I suggest you guys do, and I don't know if your closing date is the same as ours, but from my understanding, it's a mass kind of across the board in different states across the country they are hiring for maintenance because of everything that's going on with these brand new SDCs which y'all keep asking me, what does it mean? That's sorting and distribution center, right? So they need a lot of mechanics. They need custodians, whatever. And they are actually hiring them and getting them in at your particular facility. So remember I told you guys when we had a discussion the other day about if you are not career and you are MHA, you're not career and you're a clerk or you're just career and you're looking to figure out what the hell is going on because you're trying to make moves this is what you need to do if they have it available in your area so they have a form you have to fill it out and then for hours it says 
process for consideration as an applicant. Number one, complete the employee maintenance position selection sheet by the closing date on the announcement. Successfully complete the examination, which will be scheduled for you after you finish step one and satisfactory complete um, an interview will be given by three member panel. This is at my slave ship. Now, the test that they have available um, is, I think is the 955 and it's a bunch of other tests. What I suggest you guys do, if this is available in your particular facility, right? What you should do is whatever position is there, unless you really know you want to be a custodian or whatever, I suggest you check all the boxes so that you can take the test. Because what happens with maintenance, custodian and maintenance are under the same roof. What happens is whatever, when you take the test, your scores dictate, of course, what you would qualify for. So don't limit yourself. Don't cut your nose and spite your face. Don't limit yourself to one particular thing. Pull all of it out. Check everything out that you think you um, will want to qualify for. And take every test that's available. If you fail it, you fail it. If you pass some other parts of the test, then you might be able to get another position. So, I suggest you guys look for it in your building if you're working today, tonight, tomorrow, and even on Sunday. Now, for ours, this particular person that we're sending it to, the coordinator for our district, it has to be mailed. But you can also fax it, okay? It can be faxed. You just have to find out who your particular, excuse me, y'all, who that coordinator is, but it would be on the paperwork. And if push come to shove, go to the maintenance department at your facility um, and say, hey, I filled out this form and I need to fax it to the coordinator. Your coordinator may be on site, like ours is not. So if your coordinator is on site, you can fill out the form and you can then thus hand it in, right? But always make a copy. I tell y'all, these motherfuckers, you can't trust them. Make a copy. But listen, you know how Miss K give y'all information you use to put in your motherfucking what? Your tool belt. And we just had a discussion about what we need to do as a collective if we're trying to move forward, if we're concerned about our future and what we're trying to do. So if this is something that you're interested in, now, once again, this does say for all career. This is true. This is for career. So if you are a career employee, this is for um, not for those who are not career. It's for career. But, but let me give you a caveat, okay? And don't say, Miss K, what's the caveat? A bonus. That's what a caveat is. Okay. All right. So a caveat is, the bonus in this is, is that even though you're not career, you can still apply for this. You can apply because it allows you to take the test. Because remember what I told you guys. When you go into maintenance or custodian and you're not a regular, right? And you get a position, you automatically become a regular. So if you see this form, and even though it says for all career postal service employees, technically, you, you work for the post office, but you're not career because career means you're regular. But if you're not a regular, let's say you're a clerk, let's say you're an MHA, you can still apply for it because what happens is if these positions are not filled, right? If they're not filled, they kick them out to the outside and then outside of the postal service can, can be hired and can be given consideration for the positions. You're already in the postal service. Even though you're not a career employee, you can still apply because what happens is they'll let you sit for the test and then you you keep your scores and if they don't choose you because they're choosing career employees then they go to the next step and that would be you and if your score is high enough they may choose you and ask in for selection for a particular position that you apply for right right okay so do miss k a favor if you're looking at trying to expand yourself career employees non-career employees and you want to go into maintenance and you see this particular form, look for it, babies. Look for it in your facility. Ask somebody. It's there. Because them motherfuckers say they slay, they put shit on top of it so you won't see it. In my slave ship, I give it to them. They posted it everywhere and put the application in plexiglass. I was surprised, baby. I, I was real surprised. So, look for the form, y'all. Look at it. If you're interested in it, even if you think he's like, hey, I may not even pass it. Just fill it out. Just do it anyway, y'all. Fill it out. Check every box like I told you guys. Even if you only are interested in being a custodian, who cares? Fill it. Check every box for every position. Sit and take the test and then 
see what happened. And then you can make a decision whether or not if you guys want to go to maintenance, be a custodian, whatever it is, broaden your motherfucking horizons. Because guess what? We all, we all looking for the side hustle right now. We're looking for something else extra to do. We're looking to get more money. And this is how you're going to do it. Okay? All right now. So, just a little PSA for you guys. Don't forget tonight, y'all, at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my new channel, my new chat, Sip and Chat with Miss K comes on at 10 p.m. Look for y'all. Look for it. Sip in, the letter N, chat, not and. Sip in, chat. You know how I would say it, with Miss K. That, my first video will be on tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go and check it out. See if you like it. And also, for my freak, freak, freaks, y'all know what tomorrow night is. Tomorrow night is live late night vibes. You know. Look, and I got my ears. You know Miss K gonna be on it. And I already bought the egg coloring kit because I told you told y'all motherfuckers i'm decorating eggs tomorrow night yeah and drinking Ooh, y'all better stay tuned for that so tonight 10 p.m look for my new channel sip and chat with miss k and tomorrow night at 11 p.m eastern standard time y'all know what motherfucking time it is is live late night vibes with who miss k baby so i hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all friday enjoy the rest of this beautiful goddamn day please enjoy it for me because miss k still stuck at the slave ship and I'm gonna tweak my bunny ears for y'all. <laughs> and always remember my postal freaks. Love and light. Peace.